Hello, my name is Rémi Dubal and I work for Enedis, the main electricity distribution network operator in France. Between 2017 and 2021, Enedis has deployed 35 million smart electrical meters called Linky. These electrical meters allows us to perform accurate bearing and supply us to offer new energy services as planned by European regulation. I'm currently in charge of the Powerline Communication Laboratory for the Linky program, where I am managing an expertise team with the role of ensuring conformity with regulation and standards, controlling the performance of the meters in terms of hardware and software capabilities, and solving complex field problems. Enedis is strongly involved in standardization activities, both in national and international standardization bodies. Indeed, interoperability is a constant concern since we have six different products that should work together. Implementation of the standards are constantly and unverified to have the best performance in the field. Linky meters are power line communication based smart meters. Specifically, they use G3 PLC a power line communication protocol designed for smart metering. PLC refers to telecommunication using the electrical cable for data transmission. Their G3 PLC interface is used for data collection by a data concentrator unit. It collects and transmits data from meters to the central information system using G3 PLC for the local network and then via high-speed national networks. The G3PLC ITU Worldwide Standard is a mesh network protocol based on the OFDM Powerline Communication Physical Layer and the IEEE 802.15.4 MAC Layer adapted to some PLC particularities. An adaptation layer includes routing services and 6 slopan for IPv6 support. Linky supports many services from consumption data collection for billing to electrical grid supervision for predictive maintenance. The G3PLC network supports up to 1,500 nodes and 15 hopes routing, allowing diversified use cases. Well, Sixlopan was a natural choice for the G3PLC standards because the MAC layer comes from the IEEE 802.15.4 radio protocol. G3PLC, the low data rate protocol made for IoT. The bottom layer limitations, mainly the MAC maximum transmission unit, which is limited by the physical data rate and device capabilities, requires IPv6 header compression and packet fragmentation. Sixlopan proposed these features with flexibility and robustness. This protocol can easily run on the electrical meters because it has a low footprint on the embedded modem. The support of IPv6 allows us to open the possibilities regarding the application layer. Meters implement the DLMS COSM application layer that rely on UDP addressing. It also facilitates the implementation and management of the software with a lot of existing and maintained libraries. As I previously mentioned, Sixlopan is a flexible adaptation layer. Today, in Enedis, we only use the IPv6 link local address for Linky, but with the Sixlopan protocol, we can go way further. The main improvement will be to have full IPv6 link between information system and the meters. We will be able to open new real-time services for our customers and operations. Technically, a simple configuration modification of the equipment will allow that. Sixlopan makes it transparent to all the security and reliability requirements for industrial applications. Furthermore, we can also imagine direct communication with several objects that are linked to the utility activities, since Sixlopan offers interoperability with all the internet devices. For example, in smart mobility, electric cars that communicate with high data rate network are IP native. We are experimenting with charge regulation from smart metering infrastructure to reduce their impact on the grid. 